Hey there, smart shoppers. Welcome back to another episode of Buy Smart, the channel where we save you money and time by comparing the hottest gadgets in the market. Today, we're diving into the battle of the apples. On one side, we have the trusty Apple iPhone 11, and on the other, the shinier, more expensive Apple iPhone 12 Pro. Let's see which one is your perfect pick. Spoiler alert, your wallet might have a say in this. First up, let's talk about the price. The iPhone 11 is going for a cool $339. Yes, that's right, folks, $339. Reviewers appreciate that it offers flagship-level features at a more affordable price point. Now, the iPhone 12 Pro is priced at $521. That's almost $200 more, while some reviewers feel it's worth it for the sleek design and advanced features. Others note that the higher price could be a stretch for those on a budget. For that price difference, you could get yourself a fancy dinner, a new wardrobe, or, you know, a lifetime supply of ramen noodles. So if you're on a budget, the iPhone 11 definitely wins this round. Both phones are fully unlocked and compatible with any carrier of choice. We're talking AT&T, T-Mobile, Sprint, Verizon, and even those lesser known ones like Cricket and Metro. So no matter what network you're on, you're covered. Reviewers have not reported any issues with carrier compatibility for either device. It's a tie, folks. Both these bad boys are tested for battery health and guaranteed to have a minimum battery capacity of 80%. Reviewers of the iPhone 11 have noted that while the battery life is good, it isn't as long lasting as a new phone. Similarly, iPhone 12 Pro users have mentioned that the battery life is slightly disappointing at 80% of its original capacity, requiring more frequent charging. But let's be real, 80% battery capacity. It's like having a pizza with one slice missing. Still good, but you know it could have been better. Again, it's a tie. Now, here's where the iPhone 12 Pro shines, literally. It's inspected and guaranteed to have minimal cosmetic damage, which is not noticeable when you hold it at arm's length. Reviewers have praised its excellent condition and sleek design. The iPhone 11, on the other hand, doesn't make any such promises. Some users have reported minor scratches, but they still find it reliable and efficient. So if you're the kind of person who treats your phone like a newborn baby, the 12 Pro might be your better bet. But hey, a few scratches give it character, right? The iPhone 12 Pro does not come with headphones or a SIM card. It does include a charging cable, which, let's be honest, is probably as generic as a plain white t-shirt. Some reviewers were satisfied with the included charger and data cable, despite it not being a fast charging interface. The iPhone 11 doesn't specify what's in the box, but given the price, don't expect any golden tickets. You might get a charging cable if you're lucky, so it's a bit of a mystery box situation here. Reviewers generally find the iPhone 11 to be a reliable and efficient backup phone with flagship level features at an affordable price. On the other hand, the iPhone 12 Pro is praised for its sleek design excellent condition and advanced features, though its higher price and slightly disappointing battery life are noted. So there you have it, folks. The iPhone 11 is your go-to if you're looking to save some cash and don't mind a few potential scratches. The iPhone 12 Pro, on the other hand, is for those who want a shinier, more pristine device and are willing to shell out the extra bucks. Which one will you choose? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you never miss another episode of Buy Smart. Until next time, happy shopping and stay smart. Product links are in the description.